Hi everyone, I'm Liz Weiss. And I'm Janice newell Bissex. We are the Meal Makeover Moms. And today we're going to show you how to make one of our favorite recipes, veggie quiche patties. And we like this recipe because it has vegetables in it. It's easy, it's family friendly, and even if your kids don't like green vegetables, I think they're gonna really like this recipe. I agree, don't you think? I do. Before we get started, Go ahead and tell us where you're from. Yeah, where are you from? We had some people last week from all over the world. All yeah, the world. all over the world, perhaps. Yes. Um, we have our laptop here, so we're going to refresh the page and see if we, <laughs> we see better, if we come up. better <laughs> pop up. Please, please. I are we really there. live? Are we there? Are we live there? now? Yes, Hello. here we are. Yay. There we are. Okay. So yeah, tell us where you're from. And if you have any questions throughout the broadcast about the veggie quiche patties or the tips we're going to share today, then post them. And then we'll try to get to them maybe during the broadcast. Sure. If, if not, not, then after. Can you see? I can, can you see. see from that far I, away. I think I can see. Oh, how oh, high! We have 7,400 viewers already, and we've only been on live for about <laughs> half a minute. We're very popular. Oh, yeah, we are. We're actually a Facebook Live sensation. <laughs> Joining so, you from the Meal Makeover Mom's Kitchen. If you don't know who we are, where have you been? No, just kidding. We have, we've written three cookbooks. The first, The, Mom, the Mom's Guide to Meal Makeovers. <laughs> can't even say it. And our second book is No Wine with Dinner, 150 Healthy Kid Tested Recipes from the Meal Makeover Moms. And our most recent book, The Smoothie Bowl Coloring Cookbook which is just oh so fun. It's really fun. There are coloring pages, there are smoothie bowl recipes. It's really a brilliant idea. Hey, and it's you know selling I realize, very well. I realize this light is on and we need to turn that off. I do. If we were good broadcasters. What about our intern Megan who's Megan. right there and she knows at the end of the Megan, island. Megan, look at me, look at me Megan. Other side. End of island. island. There's a Oh, ah, so much better. I like being in the I dark. I felt like I was being interrogated. It was like I looked up, oh my gosh, there's a spot. Because now they can't see us at all. They probably. can see us, of course. There. Let us know. Let us know. Okay. You can't see us. So the Smoothie Bowl Coloring Cookbook, by the way, is a free download. So if you go to mealmakeovermoms.com, that's our website, you can download it for free. And um, if you click through to our blog, Meal Makeover Moms Kitchen, that's where you're going to find this recipe. So the reason we decided to do this recipe. I'm still demoing. Right, I like to be men. Away. Enough with the book. Enough with the book. Um, but the reason we decided to demo this recipe today is that we just finished up a five part series on Meal Makeover Mom's Kitchen on easy ways to improve your family's diet today. So easy, simple. And one of our main strategies was to weave at one or more nutrient rich ingredient into everything you make. And notice how we use the word weave, W-E-A-V-E, -E, not, <laughs> not S-N-E-A-K-E. Okay. <laughs> you're, having, you're having all sorts of issues. You I need really your, am. You need your coffee. We right? don't sneak, we weave and we don't nutrient sneak. rich ingredients. And it's really a, a matter of semantics. I mean, we like the word weave instead of sneak because sneak feels sort of deceptive. And we know some kids are really, really picky. Um, but whether they're picky or not, it's still a good idea to weave the nutrient rich ingredients into everything you make. So if you're making muffins, use white flour as well as whole wheat flour. It doesn't just have to be white flour. So that's what we mean by weave. And um, yeah, speaking of weaving, we have baby spinach. Mm -hmm. And you're going to turn the flame yes. up a little bit on my oven stove. Oh, here we go. Yeah. All right, Careful. so the recipe for these adorable veggie quiche patties, and I want to just show you the finished product Check this out because this is like our teaser here. These are our veggie quiche patties. They're adorable. Each portion, it's three patties, but you know, if you have teeny to toddlers at home, then you know, maybe two, maybe one. You could serve it with anything on the side, a salad, you name it. And you can see the veggies are woven in. But we'll get back to that in a minute. So we start out with half an onion that we finely chopped. And why do we finely chop that, Janice? Because we don't want big, hunks of onion in no. our little delicate quiche patties. No. So we've already sauteed half an onion. Mm -hmm. We've sauteed a garlic clove, and then we're going to add actually a little more oil here. We've got some olive oil. It's a healthy fat, heart healthy monounsaturated fats there. 
And so we're going to go ahead and cook the baby spinach, and it's going to wilt, and it's going to end up being, you know, look like there's kind of nothing in there, but you'll see. Maybe not nothing. Maybe not nothing. And after we saute it, we're going to put it on the cutting board, and we're going to chop it up. So that would be right. where, you know, you wouldn't want a child to bite into it with oh, a big, 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 a big yeah. spinach leaf. So we chop it up so it blends in a little bit better. It's and you can call these things whatever you want. You don't have to call them veggie quiche patties. You can call them hockey pucks. Mm -hmm. If your kids play hockey, you could call them, oh, I don't oh, know, frisbees. muffins. <laughs> right, muffins. muffins. You can call them eggy muffins. Sure. Anything that appeals to your kids. I'm going to add a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt. We actually like to use kosher salt instead of regular salt because mm -hmm. A little bit goes a longer way in terms of flavor. It's actually lower in sodium than regular table salt. It's got half the sodium, actually. Yeah. And yeah. if you could see this under a microscope, you would see that it's very flaky. So as opposed to the table salt, which is shaped more like an ice cube, this is shaped like a snowflake. So you get a lot of salty flavor for not a lot of sodium. Right, kind of hits those taste buds. Mm -hmm. So the veggie quiche patty is again an example of how to weave in a super nutritious ingredient. If you're just joining us, by the way, we're the Meal Makeover Moms. We're demonstrating how to make veggie quiche patties a super yummy, healthy recipe for lunch, for dinner, for a snack, for breakfast. I mean, super versatile. And um, we're telling you a little bit about a blog series we just had on Meal Makeover Moms Kitchen these past two weeks on tips for improving your family's diet. Mm -hmm. Easy, easy tips. You know, another tip while you're cooking that, because I don't want you to burn that beautiful garlic or the spinach, is to market good nutrition to kids. Because if the big food companies can market to your kids, well, so can you. So you want to do things like name your food something a little bit fun. That the like kids, the hockey pot. Like the hockey pots, that's right. Uh, let's see, you could serve your food and, and just get your kids excited by using rainbow carrots, calling them x-ray vision carrots. Oh, instead of like regular carrots, you can use the rainbow. Have you seen those at the market? You can buy them by the pound or as the babies. And a rainbow carrot is a lot more fun for a kid than a regular carrot. Mm -hmm. And then of course kids like to dip, so you can start with your favorite dip. So you're marketing by just making it a little more appealing, mm -hmm. right? And also having the food accessible, I find that if you if you cut up the fruit and leave it out on the table, you don't have to say anything. You don't have to say, oh, here, try this. They'll walk by, they'll see it, and they might want to nibble on it without you even asking them. Especially if it's on a kebab. Right. Of course, when my boys were younger, kebab equaled weapon. So kebabs <laughs> went appropriate. Uh, one of the other tips we went on that we reviewed in our series, and by the way, we have all 25 tips on the blog today in a culmination blog post and our podcast, Cooking with the Moms, which is on iTunes. It's show number 287. Mm -hmm. We go through all of our tips um, on that show. But one of our other tips is to slash the added sugar in your family's diet. And we get a lot of ideas for that, but why don't you tell them about sure, some yogurt. yogurt. So we work with Chobani on this blog series, and these are some of our favorite yogurts for kids and snacks for kids. They're portable, so you can throw these right in their lunchbox. If you're going to the park, you can take them with you. So these are for the younger kids, for the tots, banana and pumpkin and mango and spinach flavors. Mm -hmm. These are delicious. And you know, they're 25% less sugar than the other leading brands of yogurts. And also so higher like in that. protein. It's higher yeah. in protein, yes. So we like the protein, we like the calcium, all the great nutrition in here. So and one of the other things too with um, the Chobani Kids and Tots is that they're just made with only natural ingredients. And so a lot of parents, and, and even us, we don't like artificial colors, we don't like artificial right. flavors, we don't like a lot of sugar. So when you start to read labels and you start to compare, it's a great way to cut back on sugar in the diet. And we're really talking about added sugar, too. You know, you're going to get natural sugar from milk. You're going to get natural sugar from fruit right. puree, which you're going to get banana puree in the Kids and Tots line. This right. is what the, um, from the Kids line, this is watermelon. The watermelon tubes. Now, I froze these because I just like these in the freezer because it's a special treat. You take it out and you push it up and it's a push pop. Kids like it, but I like it, too. And I love the watermelon flavor. 
They also have banana flavored tubes. So if your child is a big fan of banana, then you can get those. And they have other flavors, strawberry, mixed berry. It's delicious. All right, so you're cutting back on sugar. You're marketing good nutrition to kids. You're weaving nutritious ingredients into everything you make. So where are we at with our recipe? If you're just joining us, please tell us where you're from. Hey, we should see if any, I know you said there were what, 7,000 people already yes. on? Yes, yeah, 7,000 in the first 30 Hi, seconds. Hi, Mom. Oh, Mom. <laughs> my mom is totally not online. My mom and dad are no, completely my parents are not watching unplugged. Yes. Completely, I mean, they don't have yes. a cell phone. Well, they have a cell phone, but it's not like a smartphone. Yeah. They don't have computers. They, don't, they live a simple life. They don't need all that stuff. Sure. Um, but we're making veggie quiche patties, and um, we have started out by sauteing up some onion and some garlic and some baby spinach, which I'm about to chop up. And then Janice, you can just tell everybody else what's mm -hmm. in the recipe. Okay. I have five eggs that I have already beaten in here. Now we use omega-3 eggs, just another example of boosting the nutrition in your diet. You can get eggs that have been Chickens have been fed a special diet, so they have some nice omega-3 fats in there. And this is a reduced fat cheddar cheese, three quarter cup, it comes pre-shredded. I like the Cabot shredded cheese, it's delicious. And then we have some herbs here, and this to me really makes it. There's tarragon, which is my favorite. You can add parsley, you can add thyme, you can add really whatever fresh herbs you love. Or basil. You could add basil, mm -hmm. of course but somehow the tarragon always gets my vote. So we have tarragon in here. And then the other thing I'm gonna do while Janice is stirring up our five eggs and our cheese and our herbs, I'm gonna go ahead and chop um, the spinach because like Janice said before, we want kids to want to eat this, so we want everything to be chopped up fine. The onions chopped up, obviously the garlic, and now our baby spinach gets chopped up. So this is absolutely I don't know, one of the easiest recipes you're ever gonna make. So let's go ahead and do that. And then I'm gonna tell you a little bit of, more about the series on Meal Makeover Mom's Kitchen. One of the other tips we talk about is giving your family's snacks a healthy makeover. And this is a statistic that's pretty interesting. Um, Are you done? Yes, let me okay. just get the last of it. 27% of a child's diet, the calories in a child's diet, comes from snacks. So that is a lot. It's a lot of calories. A lot of calories from snacks. So you wanna make your snacks count towards good nutrition. Meaning, if you think your child doesn't have enough fruit in their diet or enough vegetables or enough calcium rich foods or enough whole grains, um, whether it be quinoa, whole wheat bread, whole wheat pasta, then snack time is your opportunity for giving them mini meals that fill in those gaps. And so these veggie quiche patties really fit the bill on that. I mean, I feel like this recipe hits it all. <laughs> this is good stuff. It does. All right. All right, I'm going to fill these. All right, so we've got muffin tins and we've sprayed them with nonstick cooking spray. Easy, easy. And now Janice has a two tablespoon measure and all she does is fill each of these 12 cups with this mixture. And then we're gonna pop this into the oven. The oven is preheated to 375. We're gonna bake them about 15 minutes and you are done. How easy is that? That is easy. And you know these freeze very well so that you can make a batch, eat half of them and toss a few in the freezer and you can have them for breakfast or snack. I'm actually gonna freeze some and Josh is coming home from college on Sunday. Uh, his school goes pretty late, he's a Delaware, and so he's gonna come home and eat me out of house and home, obviously. Mm -hmm. It's been, you know, without Josh around, I save a lot on my grocery bill, I will tell you that. <laughs> and by the way, if you have picky eaters, once they're teenagers, pretty much they're gonna eat everything. So there's, the boys. there's a light at the end of the tunnel, okay? Don't worry. So um, our last tip that we shared in the series was to add more fiber to your diet. Now, if you watched us last week, or if you listened to last week's podcast, it was all about the healthy gut bacteria that live inside your large intestine, and not very appetizing when we're cooking this. However, we know that the good bacteria love to eat fiber, so anytime you can get more fiber in the diet, go for it. So raspberries are really high in fiber, almonds, avocados, broccoli, you know, these are all foods kids love to eat. This recipe, actually, I'm gonna look and tell you, 
This recipe has two, 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 I think two grams of fiber. I'm so blind. Yes, two, you are. Yeah, two grams of fiber, but yes. we're serving it with a salad on the side. So go ahead and take a look. If you're just joining us, we just cooked up our veggie quiche patties. You can find these on our blog, Meal Makeover Mom's Kitchen. And um, Janice, well, we don't need to pop those in the oven. Well, we can, I guess, at some point. <laughs> we could. We could just... Uh... But I think I'll put them over here in the pretend yeah. oven. In Easy bake oven. <laughs> the pretend <laughs> oven. So there you go. That's our veggie quiche patties. And some other good nutrition tips from Ooh. this recipe. So much goodness, actually. Because 16 of the... grams of protein that's in this recipe. Parents worry that's... about protein a lot. Yeah, and that's for three patties. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the calories are relatively low. How much? Let's see. Not a lot. 200 calories. Not a lot. 60% mm -hmm. vitamin C. 150% vitamin A. Okay? My job is done. Your job is done. Absolutely. That's a good immune booster, right? Vitamin A? 25% calcium. That's good. From that cheese. Uh, That's easy. Yeah. So a lot of good nutrition crammed into just those cute little patties. So come on over to Meal Makeover Mom's Kitchen and check that out. What else do we want to remind people? Let's see. What I'm else? Not, I'm just so excited about this recipe. Can they follow us? Can they get notified if we're live again? Oh, I don't yeah. know. Is there something that they can do? Well, I believe if you're watching this from your smartphone, there's a little follow button. And if you click that, the next time we go live, and we're going to try to do this once a week, the next time we go live and we cook up a new recipe for you guys, you'll get notified. So go ahead and click that follow button. Don't forget to check out the Smoothie Bowl Coloring Cookbook on mm -hmm. our website. It's a free download, so why not? And, um, and then listen to our podcast, Cooking with the Moms. It's on our website, MealMakeoverMoms.com, mm -hmm. and it's also on iTunes. On Stitcher? And, yeah, on Stitcher Radio. All and over the place. We've covered just about every topic under the sun. And this week, 25 tips for improving your family's diet. And then we're going to put a link to the recipe in this um, Facebook Live broadcast. We're going to go ahead and add that to the, uh, the description section. So thanks for joining us. We were not successful in observing comments as they came in live, no, but we're working. Our computer's kind of frozen a little bit. I hope I it's your computer and not us. I hope we're not frozen. We're frozen <laughs> in time, very old fashioned. Well, um, but we're working through this technology. It's kind of fun. I like it. I like it. I, I will do this every week. I I would do it every week, but I want to see. I want to see Deanna on there and Robin saying, hey, how you doing? And That's what I where, miss. And where's Ella, your dog? She's so quiet. Oh, there she is. She's all, right. all snuggled she's up in sleeping. her crate, so she's not going to make an appearance this week. No but I'm sure yet. next week Ella will be joining us. I hope so. Thanks, everybody, for joining the Meal Makeover Moms on Facebook Live today. And if there's a recipe you want us to make next week or a question you have, post it in the comment section. Please share. We'd love to spread the word about all the healthy recipes we've created for you guys and your families. Thanks for joining us.